Hi everybody, it's Susan, January 2nd, 2011. This is part two of my Victorian uh, heart-shaped um, pillow. I had posted yesterday the video that I had made where I had taken um, two pieces of felt cut out as a shape of a heart and, um, and I had gathered all of the lace which I had uh, that had a thick border on it along with the lace and um, it was not embellished and that's why it was part one and I want to share with you part two but I have to say um, I needed to embellish this because it was very plain and this is not a pillow that's going on a bed um, I would think it's probably with the lace about eight or nine inches wide by eight or nine inches high and this I'm so proud of it because it came out so beautiful. I'm looking at it and I see a couple of spots that I may have to fill in. So um, with that said, these are the Wild Orchid Craft flowers uh, that are all scattered here on this um, pillow heart. And just to show you that those flowers are so gorgeous that you don't need to use them only on paper crafts and little things and cards. I mean, you can use it on home decor. This is a perfect gift for a bride, in which I used to do uh, several years back. I used to do a lot of bridal things, which there's going to be an extravaganza coming up on YouTube that I am putting out. Um, it's not going to be for a while. I'm looking at maybe April, so I'm going to share with you um, a, a lot of things that I used to make and I still have and it's extremely gorgeous anyway um, just to share with you over here these flowers are so pretty and if you see these little um, like these I used as fill-ins which are these flowers here I just cut them bent them put some glue in it and mold it with my fingers to bend back and I wanted those as fill-ins because as you can see there there are also um, those little uh, bouquet of roses which are unbelievably gorgeous and I hope you can see that those are scattered along with the other flowers and little pieces of that um, of the pink um, le uh, the, the, the pink uh, petal and uh, there are also see those small little roses they're so beautiful these other gorgeous gorgeous roses are so gorgeous I've got large pearls small pearls I've got crystals that are clear crystals that are uh, an off greenish bluish kind of color that that's just working itself with the light there are some silver in there some really tiny pearls some pink pearls and green ones this sense of pearl is so beautiful, excuse me, rose is so beautiful. And if you remember in a previous video, I showed you how I uh, made the rose twice the size. Well, it was the opposite with this one. Uh, what I had done with this one was I had uh, taken some of my Windsor Newton iridescent medium and I kind of saturated it with a paintbrush and then I kind of smooshed it a little bit to give it more of a vintage wrinkly look and still have a beautiful silvery white shimmer that's just outstanding in person um, and there are those um, other roses that are gorgeous and and these flowers here, I don't know what they're called. I should have done my homework, I'm sorry. But if you go to the website, um, all these flowers uh, are available for you to look at and purchase. Uh, www.wildorchidcrafts.com uh, It's uh, Paul and Siri, husband and wife. Great people, just really awesome. Um, they've given me the opportunity to design for them and they had sent me these beautiful, beautiful flowers. If you're a first timer to my website, please subscribe uh, because at some point in time I'm going to do a really nice project and um, incorporate their flowers and do it as a giveaway so that uh, someone will have the opportunity to see this line of flowers in person if you haven't yet. Um, and getting back to these flowers, I don't know if you could see the really tiny, tiny rose. They're so beautiful in person. It's just like a faint color pink. And these other pink flowers that like blend into like cream and white. And they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, I have a lot of pearls and crystals in there. And um, it's, I've tried to 
stay in the family of a faint colored pink, whites and creams, and then um, just break up some of that, um, incorporating other color pearls and crystals into the heart itself. Uh, just this is not going to be for a bed or anything. I'm probably going to make a a hanger for this uh, made out of a, a strand of pearls and just hang it up on the wall in my craft room. Um, my husband is insanely crazy when he saw this. He was like, oh my God, Susan, it's so beautiful. I mean, I've had bridal shops that um, were willing to carry my stuff, but it's so funny that when you show these things to people, they're like, oh, that's so gorgeous. I'll pay you X amount of dollars. And I'm looking at the guy like, are you kidding me? Um, so they didn't see this one. I'm telling you about things from uh, several years back, but um, getting back to the wild orchid craft flowers. Um, like I said, these flowers here, um, I cut each petal off, bent it back, and um, just glued them. Everything was glued down with my hot glue gun, my new hot glue gun. I love it. It's got that little point at the corner. Um, here are some crystals that I have used. I didn't use the purple ones here, but I did use a silver. I've got bags of pearls, and I use some of this really pretty green crystal in there as well, and some other pearls that are scattered around. There's actually a big strip of of these pearls in the background, but there's so much I don't even think you can see it. If I get close, you can see the strand of pearls there. But it looks really very beautiful, and I, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this. Oh, and let me just share one other thing quickly with you. I, it was very relaxing putting together. Um, I, I used to do an awful lot of sewing, and um, when I started getting into other crafts, um, I kind of took a break from the sewing because I had gotten tired of it. And um, I just had a feel for it the other day, and I decided to make another pillow. It's kind of naked, but I'll share it with you. And um, it, this is just a square pillow. It's really pretty. Um, this heart was made out of white felt. This one is made out of a cream colored felt. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in the center, but I was thinking that I should have um, I should have done some um, um, I forget what you call it. it's around the tip of my tongue, but I was going to put like my name and my husband's name on here, or maybe Happy Valentine's Day, like sew the wording in. It's a little late for that, but I'm not going to be making a lot of pillows, but I am going to probably make do this one and maybe another one, but I just wanted to keep this project um, solely uh, Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Um, you're probably going to be seeing me do um, a project with their flowers um, every other week, so I'm saying this is the first week in January. So you'll probably see one in about another week once again. But you know me, um, all of a sudden something comes to mind and there I go. But again, if you get a chance to get over to their site, www.wildorchocrafts.com, um, they're back from vacation and taking orders. And this flower here in the center, I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm sorry. hope I'm not off camera. I'm just going to show you. They, they come in this big package. You really, I don't know what the cost is, but you really can't go wrong. The quality of the flower is incredible. And if you look at it, um, see how larger the flower is? And I saturated it with the iridescent medium to wrinkle up and give it more of a vintage feel. So it looks really great. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like my um, Victorian heart that is finished. There'll be still live pictures on my blog, as well as on Facebook. And I don't know if any of you go to scrapbook.com, but I have some photos posted there. And um, thank you so much for um, watching this video and for stopping by. Please comment. I'd love to know what you think about my project. Have a wonderful day, and Happy New Year, everyone. Bye.